bell tag. Let's watch it one more time. Ready? All right. Well, well, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, good. Welcome to the 2018 DCAE Douglas County Spelling Bee. And I want to say thank you to DCAE for sponsoring this event. And they've made wonderful goodie bags for our spellers. And they've provided treats and they provided the trophies and many other things. So thank you and let's give a round of applause to them. And I want to thank all the parents for coming out and grandparents and aunts and uncles and cousins and everyone that's here to support the spellers. And I'd also like to thank all the spelling bee coordinators at each school. And of, of course, we can't forget our teachers. So let's give them a nice round of applause. I'd like to thank um, all of our Douglas County School System board members. Do we have any board members in the audience? Well, we'd like to thank them for their support. Mr. North, who's here in the back. Mr. North, would you like to say a word? I'm just excited about the spelling bee. He's excited <laughs> about the spelling bee, as we are. And all of the central office staff. I'd also like to thank the following. Susan McCoy, Darlene Snyder, Wiley Daly, Dr. Barry Williams, Debbie Plemons, Pam Walker, Pam Nail, Dr. Tara Campbell, Stephen Ash, Sabrina Wyatt, and Debbie Daniel. They all help coordinate, put up decorations, and they're here helping us do various things. So I want to thank them. And Stephen Ash just showed up this morning and started seating everyone. So thank you to them. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> and of course, our judges and caller, Tennille Edwards, if you'll stand. Matt Keith Cordell, <laughs> Rebecca Jackson, <laughs> and our cop Victoria Burnett. <laughs> As we prepare for this uh, spelling bee today, I'd like to just give you a few reminders. Turn off all devices at this time. There's no talking and no pictures during the spelling bee. We don't want any distractions to our spellers. If you have an objection, get a spotter. Would you raise your hand? Mr. Wiley Davy, Davy and Debbie Plemons are our spotters. So um, you will fill out the bright yellow paper and um, just do not object to the word it themselves. Spellers, if you miss a word, you will move to the second row and you'll wait until the end of the round to go and sit with your family. Spellers, keep your numbers visible. Speak loudly and clearly, but most of all, have fun. This is a wonderful experience for you. I also want to say that you're all winners. You're here, you won at your school, and our alternates, you're winners too. You're all winners, and I want you to believe that because this is a very special event, and you're representing your school, and all of our schools are big, so you represent four, five, six, a thousand kids. So I want you to have a good time. This is an experience you will never, ever forget. When you're grown, you will remember being in the spelling bee. And if you miss a word, you will remember the word that you missed. <laughs> So relax. I know I've talked to some of you this morning and you're a little nervous. Don't be nervous. Just be excited about this opportunity. So now we're going to let the spellers and alternates introduce themselves. Hey, my name is Richard Booker and I'm from Chapel Hill Middle School. My name is Tasha Burton, and I'm from Chapel Hill Elementary. My name is Mariah McBee, and I'm from Factory Shows Middle School. My name is E.A. Smith, and I'm from Stewart Middle School. 
My name is Kayla Graham, and I'm from Arbor Station Elementary School. My name's Lauren Queen, and I'm from Fair Play Middle School. My name is Milbert Adabong, and I'm from Eastside Elementary School. My name is Jamar Young, and I'm from Eastside, I mean, Burnett Elementary. <laughs> My name is Zachary Armas, I'm from Mason Creek Middle School. My name is Deborah Clark, I'm from New Manchester Elementary. My name is Michael Sinclair, I'm from Bill Arp Elementary. My name is Raymond McCoy II, I'm from Yeager Middle School. My name is Kylie Simpkins, and I'm from Beulah Elementary School. My name is Jackson Lee, and I'm from South Douglas Elementary. My name is Abby Ray, and I'm from Mason Creek Elementary. My name is Tyler Gillian, and I'm from Factory Shows Middle School. My name is Joshua Sawadi, and I'm from Bright Star Elementary. My name is Marie Terry, and I'm from um, Dorset Shoals Elementary. My name is Pierre Sand. I'm from Chestnut Log Middle School. My name is Sarah Lee, and I'm representing Brighton Academy. My name is Charlotte Hunter, and I'm from Turner Middle School. My name is Tyler Cannon, and I'm from Winston Elementary. My name is Ariana Hodge, and I'm from Sweetwater Elementary. My name is Kelvin Johnson from Mount Carmel Elementary. My name is Casey Brown, and I'm from Mirror Lake Elementary. My name is Colin Ford, and I'm from Holly Springs Elementary. My name is CJ, and I'm from Lithia Springs Elementary. My name is Serenity Brown, and I'm from Annette Wynn Elementary. My name is Jais Mariel Gonzalez, and I'm from North Douglas Elementary School. My name is Deb Renee Ross, and I'm from Arbor Station Elementary School. My name is Precious Hall and I'm from Burnett Elementary School. My name is Aaron Estelle, and I'm from Fairplay Middle School. My name is Zion Crawford, and I'm from Eastside Elementary. My name is Nicholas Holland, and I'm from Dorset Shoals Elementary School. My name is Kaylin Emerson, and I'm from Factory Shoals Middle School. <laughs> My name is Kayla Ogbo, and I'm from Factory Shows Elementary School. My name is Jaden Flores, and I'm from Sweetwater Elementary. My name is Tanya Josipa, and I'm from Turner Middle School. My name is Ellison Lord, and I'm from Mount Carmel Elementary School. My name is Cameron Stewart, and I'm from Bellarp Elementary. My name is Skylar Sari, and I'm from New Manchester Elementary. My name is Austin Stanton, and I'm from Beulah Elementary. My name is Jacob Blackman, and I'm from El Mason Creek Elementary. My name is Maxwell Baffaboni, and I'm from Bryan Academy. My name is Nazir Floor, and I'm from Bright Star Elementary. <laughs> My name is Lily Craft, I'm from, I'm from the, I'm from a I'm from Chapel Hill Elementary. My name is Sarah Barber, and I'm from Jaeger. We need the biggest round of applause for our staff. <laughs> and now I'm going to turn over the mic to Vicki Bar Burnett, who will give us some rules. Uh, me, Keith Cordell will be reading the rules. Oh, All right, good morning, everyone. In the B, spellers shall pronounce the word both before and after spelling it. However, no speller will be eliminated for failing to pronounce a word. Failure to capitalize a word or recognize grammatical markings will not be penalized. When a speller fails to spell a word correctly, he or she must step out of the B. A different word shall be given to the next speller. After having started spell to spell a word, the speller shall not be given any opportunity to change the letters once pronounced. The speller may retrace the letters of the word from the beginning only, providing no letters or their sequence are changed from those first pronounced. 
If letters and or their sequence and are changed in the respelling, then the speller shall be eliminated. The speller may ask the caller to say the word again, define it, use it in a sentence, provide the part of speech, give alternate pronunciation, and or provide the language of origin of the word before attempting to spell it. Root word questions will not be entertained by the caller or judges. No other information about the etymology or history of a word shall be provided. The caller shall grant all such requests until the judges agree that the word has been made reasonably clear to the speller. The judges may disqualify any speller who ignores a request to start spelling. If no definition of a homonym is provided by the caller, the correct spelling of either word shall be accepted. When a definition or sentence is given, the speller must spell the correct word. The judges will determine if the word was spelled correctly and if incorrect, will provide the correct spelling. Misunderstandings. The judges participate in the exchange of information between the speller and the pronouncer if they feel that clarification is needed. Also, the judges listen carefully to the speller's pronunciation of the word. And if they sense that the speller has misunderstood the word, the judges work with the speller and pronouncer until they are satisfied that reasonable attempts have been made to assist the speller in understanding the word. While the judges are responsible for attempting to detect a speller's misunderstanding, it is sometimes impossible to detect a misunderstanding until an error has been made. The judges are not responsible for the speller's misunderstanding. Any question relating to the procedures or the spelling of a word should be referred to the judges immediately. The deadline for making an objection is before the affected speller would have received his or her next word had he or she stayed in the B. No objection shall be entertained after the B is terminated. An objection may be filed by a parent, legal guardian, or school representative of the affected speller. This designated person is the only one who may object on behalf of the speller during the B. Only the designated person for a speller may voice an objection for his or her speller, and the objection can relate only to his or her speller. To object properly, only the designated person should stand and remain standing until recognized by the spelling bee coordinator. The spelling bee coordinator or designee will collect the objection form and if necessary, confer with the judges to make a decision. If only one speller in a round spells correctly, that speller will be declared a finalist. All spellers eliminated in that round will resume spelling in their original order until one spells correctly. That speller will be declared the other finalist. If all spellers are eliminated in a round, those spellers will be reinstated and resume spelling in their original order until the two finalists have been determined. The judges and the GAE Spelling Bee Committee are in complete control of the bee. Their decision shall be final on all matters. The winner and runner-up will be eligible to participate in, at the next level. The third place winner will be an alternate for the next level. Upon missing a word, the speller should sit on, in the second row waiting area until the end of the round to see whether they will be called back up. At the end of the round, if more than one person remains on the front row, students on the second row will be dismissed to sit with their family or with their school officials. No audio recording, video recording, photography, webcasting, or streaming of the DCAE spelling bee is permitted. Flash photography will only be allowed before and after the bee and during the practice round. In fairness to the contestants who are already at various levels of nervousness, extraneous noise from small children, excessive coming and going, talking, etc., could pose a distraction and prove very unfair to them during their moments in the sun. Please respect the bee process and the participants and do what's necessary to eliminate such distractions. Thank you. This is the beginning of the practice round spelling. Speller one. Vampire. Vampire. V A M P I R E. Vampire. Correct. Speller two. Timely. Timely. 
T I M E L Y. Time. Correct. Sugar. Sugar. S U G A R. Correct. Workmanship. Workmanship. W O R K M A N S H I P. Workmanship. Correct. Bandit. Ban bandit. B A N D I T. Bandit. Correct. Frolic. Frolic. F R O L I C K. Frolic. Correct. <laughs> Buffalo. Buffalo. B U L L A F L O. Okay, that's incorrect, but this is a practice round. If this were a regular round, you would go to the second row, but you need to return to your seat. <coughs> Ditto. Ditto. D-I-T-T-O. Ditto. Correct. Scrabble. Scrabble. S C R A B L E. Scrabble. That's incorrect. But you can go back to your seat. Ballot. Ballot. B A L L I T. Ballot. Okay, that's incorrect, but you can go back to your seat. Cruiser. Cruiser, C-R-U-I-S-E-R, -E cruiser. Correct. Ninja. Ninja, N-I-N-J-A, ninja. Correct. Easel. E-A-S-L-E. -E. Okay, that's incorrect. This word has a homonym. Next, the word is handsome. The part of speech is an adjective. Do you have any questions about the word? Handsome. Handsome. H-A-N-D-S-O-M-E. Handsome. Correct. Icicle. Icicle. I C E C Y C L E icicle. That's incorrect. Prescription. Prescription. P R E S C R I P T I O N. Prescription. Correct. Chinchilla. Chinchilla. Chi, C H I N C H I L L A. Correct. Chinchilla. Academy. Academy. A C A D E M Y. Academy. Correct. Thermal. Thermal. T H E R M A L. Thermal. Correct. Android. 
Android. A N D R O I D. Android. Correct. Primal. Primal. P R I M A L. Primal. Correct. Quiver. Quiver. Q U I V E R. Quiver. Correct. Tycoon. Tycoon. T Y C O O N. Tycoon. Correct. Fickle. Fickle. F I C K L E. Fickle. Correct. Mascot. Mascot. M A S C O T. Mascot. Correct. Barrow. Barrow. Oh, this what? word has a homonym. The word is barrow. Barrow. It is a noun, oh. and it means a vehicle with a single wheel suspended between the ends of two shafts that supports a box. Barrow. B A R R O W. Barrow. Correct. This word has a near homonym. The word is humble. It is an adjective, and it means modest or meek in spirit. Humble, H-U-M-B-L-E, humble. Thank you. Mentor. Mentor. M-I-N-T-O-R. Mentor. Okay, that's incorrect. Gunny sack. Can you please use that in a sentence? Yes. Um, the first part of this word is from a word that was... Oh, where is it? Cal came home from the store with a gunny sack filled with rice. Gunny sack. G-U-N-E-S-I-C. That's incorrect. Okay. That is the end of the spelling practice round. Then... <coughs> The next round is vocabulary practice round. In this round, I'll read the word, and then I'll read two choices, and then you'll make a choice of the correct definition by saying A or B. Speller number one. Cosmos. What does cosmos refer to? A, a punctuation mark used for division in a sentence, or B, the universe conceived as an orderly system? B. That is correct.
Your word is fatigue. What is fatigue? A, physical exhaustion, or B, nervousness? A. That is correct. Your word is tsunami. A tsunami is A, a love letter, B, a tidal wave. B. Correct. Your word is extravaganza. What is an extravaganza? A, a smorgasbord. B, a lavish event. B. Correct. Your word is gondola. What is a gondola? A, a pendulum. B, a boat. B. Correct. Your word is contraband. What is contraband? A, a seemingly unrhyming composition, or B, goods it is forbid forbidden to import or export. B. Correct. Your word is ventilate. What does it mean to ventilate? A, to expose to air, or B, to speak damagingly of another? A. Correct. Your word is haiku. Haiku is a type of A, root, B, poetry. B. Correct. Your word is flamboyant. A person described as flamboyant is A, showy and unrestrained, or B, an excellent dancer. A. That is correct. Your word is entourage. An entourage is A, a passageway, or B, a group of attendants. B. Correct. Your word is portfolio. Who would most likely carry a portfolio? A, a chef. B, an art student. B. Correct. Your word is succotash. Succotash is A, a mixture of lima beans and corn, or B, a beverage common in the late 1800s. A. Correct. Rouge. Rouge is a type of injury or B, cosmetic. A. Uh, that's incorrect. Oh, you, it's a practice round, so you stay here, honey. Saffron. Saffron is a type of A, spice, or B, fabric. A. That is correct. Herbivore. A herbivore is a plant-eating animal, or B, any place of shelter or refuge. A. That's correct. Your word is vigilante. What does a vigilante do? A, punishes crime outside the law, or B, works in a church? A. Correct. Your word is perennial. Which of these things is perennial a common descriptor for? A, flowers, or B, computers? B. Incorrect.
Your word is piazza. Piazza is A, an open square in a town, or B, a non-reigning female in a royal family. Um, B. Incorrect. Your word is asylum. An asylum is A, a large structure for storing corn or grain, or B, a place of refuge. B. Correct. Your word is exorcism. What is the purpose of an exorcism? A, to drive away an evil spirit, or B, to prove a person's innocence? B. Incorrect. Your word is divvy. Another word for divvy is A, distribute, or B, decommission. A. Correct. Your word is sapphire. A sapphire is A, a blue gemstone, or B, a yellow colored spice. A. Correct. Your word is tomahawk. I'm going to spell it so that it's not confused with another word. T-O-M-A-H-A-W-K. A tomahawk is a type of A, Native American axe, or B, Polynesian bird. A. Correct. Your word is plagiarism. What is plagiarism? A, stage fright, or B, passing off someone else's work as your own? A. That's incorrect. Your word is smithereens. What is smithereens? A, fragments, or B, Black frap fabrics used for more for morning wear. A. That's correct. Your word is matriculation. What is an example of matriculation? A. Chewing your food, or B. Being admitted to a college. A. Incorrect. Your word is canary. A canary is a type of A, water passageway, or B, bird. B. Correct. Your word is gruff. A person described as gruff is A, stern, B, funny. A. Correct. Your word is keen. A person described as keen to do something is A, eager, or be afraid. B. Incorrect. This is the close of the practice rounds. Now we'll, we will begin the actual spelling B, and at this time, if you miss a word, you'll go back to the next row. Number one.
Your word is Bruin. Can I get a definition, please? Yes. This word is from the Dutch word. It is a noun. It means a bear. Bruin. B-R-U-I-N. Bruin. Correct. Macaroni. Macaroni. M A C A R O N I. Correct. <laughs> Stethoscope. Stethoscope. S T E T H O S C O P E. Correct. Bungalow. May I have a definition, please? Yes. This word is from the Hindi. It is a noun. A lightly built, single-story house or cottage that is usually thatched or tiled and surrounded by a veranda. Can you please use it in a sentence? Yes. Wendy's dream vacation includes renting a bungalow on a South Pacific island. Bungalow. B-U-N-G-A-L-O. Bungalow. That's incorrect. Sushi. Sushi, S-U-S-H-I, sushi. Correct. Canine. Canine, C-A-N-I-N-E. Correct. Decoy. Decoy. D E C O Y, decoy. Correct. Cauliflower. Cauliflower. C A U L I F L O W E R, cauliflower. Correct. Talc. Talc. T A L C K. Talc. Incorrect. Futon. Futon, F-O-U-T-O-N, futon. Incorrect. Gardenia. Gardenia? Could you give me the definition, please? Yes. This word is from the Latin. Uh, it is a noun. Any plant or flower of a large genus of old world tropical trees and shrubs having showy, fragrant flowers, white or yellow. Could you use it in a sentence, please? Yes. Molly and Mark gave their mother a wrist corsage cont containing a large gardenia. Gardenia, G-A-R-D-E-N-I-A. -E Correct. Manicure. Manicure, M A. N E C U R manicure. That's incorrect. Prairie. P Could you use it in a sentence? Yes. No. After you've started, I can't. Sorry. 
he are A R Y? Incorrect. Rupture. Rupture. R U P T U R E. Rupture. Correct. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is slaughter. The word's part of speech is a noun. Do you have any questions about this word? No, ma'am. Okay. S L A U G H T E R. Slaughter. Yeah. Could you repeat that? Slaughter. S L A U G H T E R. Slaughter. Correct. Geode. Ma'am? Geode. Geode. Q U. What's the definition? The <laughs> it is. A nodule of stone having a cavity lined with crystals or mineral manner. matter. Geode. G-E-O-D-E. Correct. Geode. Karma. Karma. K-A-R-M-A. Karma. Correct. Pueblo. Can I get the definition? Yes. This word is from a word that went from Latin to Spanish. It's a town founded by Mexican Spanish settlers in the southwestern United States. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. The ancient Pueblo has been abandoned by residents who have chosen to move to larger cities. It can also be pronounced Pueblo. P L E B L O Pueblo. Incorrect. Hickory. Hickory. H I C K. O R Y Hickory. Correct. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. G O R G E O U S. Gorgeous. Correct. Jute. Can you repeat the word? Jute. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes, Calcut Calcutta is the world's largest processor of jute. Can I get the definition? Yes, jute is the glossy fiber of either of two East Indian plants used chiefly for sacking, burlap, and cheaper varieties of twine. Jute, J-U-T-E. Correct. Necessary. Necessary. N E C S A S S R Y. Necessary. That's incorrect. Ventilate. Can you sit in sentence, please? Yes. The exterminator said that he will ventilate the house after spraying the inside with pesticide. Ventilate. V E N T I A L A T E. Ventilate. Incorrect. Nightingale. May you please repeat the word? Nightingale. Will you please use it in a sentence? Yes. 
Haley was awakened by a nightingale singing outside her bedroom window. Can I please have a definition? Can I please have a definition? Yes. It's a thrush common in Great Britain that is noted for the sweet song of the male, often heard at night during the breeding season. Will you please repeat the word one more time? Nightingale. N I G H T I N G A L. Incorrect. <coughs> Permian. Can you please repeat the word? Permian. Can I please have a definition? Yes. Of or relating to the last major division of the Paleozoic, marked by extensive glaciation, by decline of the amphibians and increase of primitive reptiles, and by rocks consisting largely of red sandstone and shell. Can you please use it in a sentence? Yes. Scientists are still not sure what caused the mass extinction of life during the Permian period. Permian, P-E-R. M E I N incorrect Sonata Sonata S A N A U T A Sonata. Incorrect. Retrospective. Retrospective. R E T R O S P E C T I, B, E. Correct. Tundra. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Some portions of the Arctic tundra are rich in natural resources, such as oil and uranium. Tundra. T, U, N, D, R, A. Tundra. Correct. Pragmatic. Pragmatic. Can you please use that in the sentence? Yes. Edmund takes a pragmatic stance on most things in his life, especially his finances. Repeat the word, please. Pragmatic. Pragmatic. P. R A G M A T I C pragmatic. Correct. This completes round one of the. <laughs> yes. It, if you're on the second row, you may go and sit with your parents or your uh, teachers now. This is the beginning of round two. Character. K 
character. C H A R A C T E R. Character. Correct. Layette. Layette. L A Y E T T E. Layette. Correct. This word has a homonym. This word is spitz. The word is a noun and it means a medium-sized white dog descended from a Pomeranian and often regarded as constituting a separate breed, Spitz. Spitz, S-P-I-T-Z. Correct. Tithe. Will you please repeat that? <clears throat> yes. Tithe. Tithe. T I T H. Tithe. Incorrect. Yacht. Yacht. Y A C H T. Correct. Caribou. Caribou. C A R A B O U. Caribou. Incorrect. Elite. Elite. E L I T E. Elite. Correct. Imperative. Imperative. Could you use it in a sentence? Yes. For Nell to be able to go to the prom, it was imperative that she pass her history test. Could you give me the definition, please? Yes. Not to be avoided or evaded. Urgent, compulsory. Imperative. 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 I am... P E R A T I V E. Correct. Sarcasm. Sarcasm. S A R C A S A M. Incorrect. Refugee. Refugee. R U F U G E E. Refugee. Incorrect. Karate. Karate. K A R T E. Karate. Would you repeat it, please? Karate. K-A-R-T-E. Karate. Incorrect. kid I just sent back. We're going to call you back up. I'm sorry. We're going to give you another word. Should I stop and just explain what just happened? Yes. Okay, so I'm just going to explain for those of you in the audience what just happened. The first time that he spelled it, we believe that he spelled it correctly, but we did not hear the letter K 
in karate, but that's kind of obvious. Right. And then the second time, we feel like he spelled it differently, sometimes happens. So we're throwing that out and giving him an entirely new word and start it and just give it, it's a mulligan, a do-over, because we're not sure what happened. Okay. So your word is gazelle. This word can be confused with a similar word. The word is gazelle. The word's part of speech is a noun. And it is any of numerous small, graceful, and swift African and Asian antelopes noted for the luster and soft expression of their eyes. Gazelle. G-A-Z-E-L-L-E. Correct. Gazelle. <laughs> Blemish. Flemish? Flemish. Okay. Um, F-L-E-M-I-S-H. Correct. Magnolia. Magnolia. M-A-G-N-O-L-I-A. Magnolia. Correct. Alfalfa. Alfalfa. A-L-F-A-L-P-H-A. -A -A, alfalfa. That's incorrect. Filament. Can I can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Bella could see the broken filament in the light bulb. Filament. F I L A M E N T filament. Correct. Wanderlust. Sentence. Uh, Kate's wanderlust caused her to postpone college so that she could tour Europe. Wait. See the word? What's wander, or wanderlust? The definition? Strong or unconquerable longing for or an impulse toward traveling or going idly about for pleasure and relaxation. One, wonder her lust. W A N D E R L U S T. Wanderlust. Correct. Yieldable. Can you say it in the, Can you say the definition? The definition. Is, the definition is capable of giving away under physical force, so as to bend, stretch, or break. Can you repeat the word? Yieldable. Yieldable. Y i e l d a b l e. Correct. Crusoe. Can you please repeat the word? Crusoe. Can you please do this? I, can I please have the definition? Yes. This word is from an English literary name. It means a solitary castaway, one that lives or survives by his or her own unaided effort and ingenuity. Can you please do it in a sentence? Yes. Kendra lived as a Caruso for three months after her plane crash landed in the wilderness. Are you saying Car Caruso? Caruso? I know. Just repeat it. Caruso. C 
R U S O Crusoe. Incorrect. That's the end of round two. The next round is a vocabulary round. At this point, Mr. Cordell is going to read the vocabulary rules again. All right, for vocabulary, I will read aloud the word, the vocabulary question, and both options A and B. Respond to the speller's request to the question and or options to be repeated. The speller may answer the question by providing the letter associated with the chosen answer, the chosen answer, or both. You are offered the question, for example, what is porridge made from, A, fur, or B, grain? Each of the following methods of answering is correct. B, grain, or B, grain. Thank you. Speller number one. <clears throat> this word has a homonym. The word is callous, C-A-L-L. O U S. Someone described as callous, A, feels no sympathy for others, or B, delights in regularity and rhythm. A. Correct. Entrepreneurs. What are entrepreneurs? A. Those who own their own businesses, or B, small glazed ceramic tiles. A. Correct. Your word is commendable. It can sometimes be confused with another word, so I'm going to spell it. C-O-M-M-E-N-D-A-B-L-E. Something is commendable, if something is commendable, it A, is worthy of praise, or B, can be purchased cheaply. A, correct. Exasperation. What is another word for exasperation? A, annoyance, or B, tranquility? A. Correct. Dexterity. What is dexterity? A. Recovery from a hardship or B. Skill in using the hands. B. Correct. Incessant. What is another word for incessant? A, popular. B, unceasing. Could you repeat the word? Incessant. Could you repeat the answer options? What is another word for incessant? A, popular. B, unceasing. A. Incorrect. Your word is conspiracy. A conspiracy is A, an illegal plan to destroy a person or group, or B, a right, claim, or interest existing in equity. A. Correct. Your word is ricochet. A ricochet is A, a glancing rebound or skipping, or B, a single catch of fish. B. Incorrect. Your word is grandiose. Something described as grandiose is A, marked by pretense, 
and pomp or arrogance, or B, bidding for or used in attacking an opponent. B. Incorrect. Your word is reprobate. What does it mean to reprobate? A, disapprove of or reject something as unworthy or present something as an offering. Can you repeat the answer choices? Yes. Reprobate. What does it mean to reprobate? A, disapprove of or reject as unworthy. B, present something as an offering. A, correct. Boisterously. If something is done boisterously, it is done in a noisy and turbulent manner, or B, freely or without concealment. B. Incorrect. Tribulations. What are tribulations? A, a collection, collections or books or, ma or manuscripts, or B, suffering due to oppression or persecution? A. Incorrect. Yes, okay, you guys can return back to your uh, parents and this round is over. Y'all should all kind of slide in closer. This begins round four, speller one. <clears throat> Matinee. Can I get a definition, please? Yes, this word is from the French. It's a noun. It means a performance of a production as a play, opera, film, or the presentation of a concert, or sometimes the holding of some other event in the afternoon or occasionally in the morning or at midnight. Can you please use it in a sentence? Yes. The English class attended a matinee of our town at the local playhouse. Matinee. M A T. I N E E. Matinee. Correct. <clears throat> Hominy. Can you use a can you use a definition? Yes. Hominy. It is a noun. It means kernels of whole corn with the germ removed and either whole or ground. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. For breakfast, the hotel offered griddle cakes, hominy, and scrambled eggs. H A M A N Y, hominy. Incorrect. Feldspar. 
definition, please? Yes, it's from the German. It's any of a group of usually white or nearly white, flesh red, bluish, or greenish minerals that are all aluminum silicates. They, it occurs in crystals and crystalline masses that are vitreous in luster and are essential constituents of nearly all crystalline rocks. Feldspar, F-E-L-D-S-P-A-R. Correct. Adjacent. Adjacent. A D J A C E N T. Correct. Lunatic. Lunatic. L U N A T I C. Lunatic. Correct. Rupee. Ma'am? Rupee. Rupee? Uh huh. Can you use that in a sentence? Yes. An Indian rupee is equivalent to about 2.2 cents in the United States. Rupee. R U P E A T. Rupee? Incorrect. Lilac. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Aunt Frida filled all the vases in the house with fragrant, with fragrant blooms from her lilac. Lilac. You can actually say it either way. L I L A C. Lilac. Correct. That is the end of round four. This is the beginning of round five, speller number one. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. S P A G H E T T I. Spaghetti. Correct. Spherical. Definition, please. Yes. The first part of this word is originally Greek. It's an adjective. It means like a ball or globular. Spherical. S. P. H. E. R. I. C. A L? Correct. Influenza. Influenza. I N F L U E N Z A. Correct. Parfait. Parfait. P A R F A I T. Parfait. Correct. This word has a homonym. The word is quiche. The word's part of speech is a noun, and it means a baked custard pie, usually having an added savory ingredient. Quiche. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Uh, Lois served soup and a seafood quiche for lunch today. Can I get the origin? The origin is German, German but uh, it became French before ending up in English. Quiche. Q U 
E A S H Geesh. Incorrect. That, oh. that concludes round five. Speller number one. We're going back to vocabulary. Your word is splice. What does it mean to splice? A, to fasten together to create length, or B, add flavor to a dish? A. Correct. Your word is topical. Something described as topical is A, designed for local application as on the body, or B, of or pertaining to sailors or ships. A. Correct. Your word is electoral. What does electoral refer to? A, voting, B, the chest. Can you repeat the options? Yes. What does electoral refer to? A, voting, or B, the chest? A. Correct. Your word is foist. What does it mean to foist someone? A, to force someone to accept something, to accept through deceit, or B, to dump water on someone's head. Can you please repeat the word? Yes, foist. What does it mean to foist someone? Dump water, I'm sorry, I'm gonna start all over. Foist, what does it mean to foist someone? A force someone to accept through deceit, or B, dump water on someone's head. A. Correct. That is the end of round what? Six. Wow. You guys are doing great. We go back to spelling now. Speller one. Toboggan. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Yes. Bart's new toboggan is the fastest one on the hill. Toboggan. T O B O G G O N. Toboggan. Incorrect. Parmesan. Definition, please. Of, it, it is a noun. It is a very hard, dry cheese with a sharp flavor that is cured for several years and used grated to season other foods such as spaghetti and sauces. Parmesan. P A R M E S A N. Correct. Toucan. Toucan. T O U C A N. Correct. Abdicate. Can I please have the definition? Yes. It means to relinquish formally, to renounce. Abdicate. A. B, D, I, C, A, T, E. Abdicate. Correct. 
That's the end of round seven. Speller number three. Vulnerable. Can I have the definition, please? Yes. Capable of being wounded, defenseless against injury. Vulnerable. V U L N E R A B L E. Correct. Shrapnel. Can you repeat the word? Shrapnel. The language of origin? I'm sorry? The language. Oh, language of origin is English. The word is from an English name. Repeat one more time. Shrapnel. <sighs> Shrapnel. S H R A B N O L. Incorrect. Extravaganza. Extravaganza. E X T R A V A G A. N Z A extravaganza. Correct. At this point, uh, Mr. Cordell is going to read the rules for the playoff. Competition, competition between two finalists. When a round results in only two spellers who have correctly spelled their words, they will be declared the finalists. When one finalist misses a word, the other finalist will spell the next word on the caller's list. If the contestant spells that word and the next word on the list correctly, he or she will be declared the winner. If he or she misspells either of those two words, the other finalist will be given the next word on the caller's list to spell. If that finalist spells the next word and the next word correctly, he or she will be declared the winner. If both finalists misspell their word, both shall continue in the B, and the one who first misspelled his or her word shall be given the next word on the caller's list to spell. Objecting. When only two spellers remain, an objection must be made immediately before the second speller has started spelling the word given him or her. No objection shall be entertained after the second speller has started spelling the word or after the competition is terminated. The judges and the GAE Spelling Bee Committee are in complete control of the B. Their decision shall be final on all matters. Thank you. Speller number three. Affinity. Affinity, A-F-F-I-N-T-Y. Incorrect. Oh. Okay, you have to spell the ne this your next word correctly and the word after that to win the B. Understand? Okay, plausible. Plausible. P L A U S E A B L E. Plausible. That's incorrect. So. Back to speller number three. Patriarch. Patriarch. P A T R I A R C H. Correct. Illuminati. Illuminati. <laughs> I L L U M I N A T I, Illuminati. Correct. 
Yes, we're going back and forth, so number three again. Mascara. Mascara. M-A-S-C-A-R-A. -A. Correct. <laughs> Teriyaki. Teriyaki. T E R I Y A K Y Teriyaki. Incorrect. You have to spell two in a row now. Hmm? You have to spell two in a row to win. Elixir. Okay. Definition, please. Yes. Uh, it is a cure-all, a panacea. E-L-I-X-O-R. Incorrect. So... We start again fresh. <laughs> okay. Okay, I want to say it to you. Amarillo. 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 A M A R I, L, L, O, Amarillo. Correct. Kabuki. K, A, H B U K I? That's incorrect. You have to spell two in a row to win the B. Seems like we've been here before. <laughs> yep. Omnipotent. Omnipotent. Please, can you say it in a sentence? Yes. Some people believe that they can defy the omnipotent forces of nature. Omnipotent. O M N I P I T E N T. Omnipotent. That's incorrect. <laughs> okay. Quell. Definition, please. Yes. To put down, to overpower, to suppress, extinguish. Okay. Q U E L L? Correct. Vigilante. 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 I do that every time. <laughs> Vigilante. Vigilante. Can I please have the definition? Yes. A member of a volunteer committee organized to suppress and punish crime summarily as when the process of law appear inadequate. Vigilante. Vigilante. V I G I. L A N T Y vigilante. Incorrect. Barrage. <coughs> Barrage. B A R R A G E. Correct. 
Stay up. You have to. She has to do two in a row. No, this is just one. This is your second one. Okay. Macadamia. M A C A D A M I A? Correct. Is Mr. North still here? Yes. It's time for pictures. Congratulations to our winners. Yeah.